friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lark, I'm an independent singer-songwriter and today we're going to talk about how to get you making money from your music. So let's face it, making, releasing and promoting music is expensive. You need to pay for the recording, your promo shots, your music video, then there's the promotional costs depending on how you plan to promote your music. The very first thing you need to do is build a solid foundation of engaged fans. Now when I say engaged, I mean fans who will spend money to support you by buying your music, merchandise and tickets to your shows. They'll also help promote your music by sharing social media posts and introducing your music to their friends and families. Best fans ever. We all want engaged fans, but it doesn't happen overnight. The best way to build up your engaged fan base is through live shows and touring. Interacting with fans on social media and targeting potential fans with the same characteristics as your existing fans. One of the best ways to do this is by marketing to lookalike audiences. You can do this by asking fans to subscribe to your channel, hint, hint, or sign up to your email distribution list. Once you have your core engaged fans, you can target your ads towards people who are just like your engaged fans. Most platforms have got functions for a like audience, so make sure you figure out how to use it. So what happens if you get so many fans engaging with you that it's overwhelming, it's rain and fans? Well, you don't wanna lose them. So you need to catch them through something that's called a funnel. I don't know too much about funneling yet. That's your homework from this fast class. So next, you can make money from touring and live shows. They're a great way to generate revenue through ticket sales, but you can also sell your albums and merchandise at these gigs. The people who come to your shows are the best kinds of fans because they're the ones who like you so much, they'll get dressed up, jump in an Uber and buy a ticket to come and see you. That's a lot of effort. And hopefully bring some friends who will become engaged fans and then that will start the domino effect. Live shows are also a great way to interact with fans on a face-to-face -face personal level. Before and after the show, get out and thank people for coming. Take photos with them and have a chat. It will make their day and they'll probably post about it on their social media, which is always awesome. Merchandise, I have got one word for you, KISS. Those cats have merged everything. You can wear a KISS t-shirt to the KISS pop-up shop to buy a KISS onesie for your baby to wear while they're drinking from their KISS baby bottle in a KISS high chair at a KISS bowling alley slash wedding chapel. They are the kings and pioneers of the power of merchandise. The first thing you need is to develop a strong brand and logo, something that stands out, associates directly with you, and that's so cool people want to be seen in it. Watch my fast class on how to develop your brand for help with this. I'll pop a link in here for you. Obviously, online streaming and sales and radio play will also generate revenue. You need to get a lot of streams to make the big bucks. So start building those engaged fans. So there's also physical assets, and this includes selling CDs or vinyl at your shows or through your website and social media. Not a lot of people have got CDs or CD players anymore, but I've recently bought CDs and vinyl purely because I wanted to support an artist. I then went out and bought a record player so I could play the record. I kind of like to do things a little bit differently. You can also earn money by licensing your music for use in TV shows, movies, commercials and video games. This can include reworking cover songs and or creating original music for a specific project. Watch my fast class on rights and royalties for more info on this. I'll pop a link in here. This video is going to be full of links. You can also make money by teaching and mentoring. So you can offer private lessons, teaching at music schools or universities or creating online courses. Crowdfunding. Some artists have successfully raised money for their projects through crowdfunding platforms like Kickstarter. Grants and schemes. Usually government organisations set aside funds to promote the arts through grants and schemes. Keep a keen eye on your state or federal arts agency and your performing rights association or union to get a heads up when opportunities to apply for grants come up. 
There's a bit of work involved in applying for a grant and not all applications get approved, but if you do get approved and you receive a contribution towards your project, then it's all worth it. The next way that you can make money is through monetization. There are a few ways you can do this. You can add a payment method to your Spotify page so that fans can contribute directly to you. Get onto this one toot sweet. Most social media platforms now pay their content creators, including YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, and Facebook. And there are several ways you can earn money through each of these platforms. On YouTube, there are a number of ways to earn money, but first, you need to qualify for monetization. To qualify, you need to have reached 1,000 active subscribers and have 4,000 hours of watch time over 12 months or 10 million shorts views in 90 days. And you also need to follow YouTube's guidelines and terms of service. So here are all the YouTube ways. Number one, ad revenue. YouTube will pay a percentage of the revenue generated from ads played during your videos. You need to join the YouTube Partner Program to monetize your content through ads. The next way is through sponsorship. You can attract brands and sponsors to advertise or sponsor your videos, provided it aligns with your content and ethics. So if your YouTube channel is about heavy metal, you wouldn't try to get a sponsorship from Abercrombie & Fitch. Note to self, need to get sponsors. Right. Super Chat and Super Stickers. This feature allows viewers to donate money during a live stream or premiere. Merchandise, which we spoke about before. You can sell branded merch to your viewers, such as t-shirts, phone covers, and coffee mugs. Fan Funding. You can enable fan funding on your channel where your fans can voluntarily donate money to you via their Google wallets. You can also earn money on Instagram through several different methods. Sponsored Posts. If you've got a significant following on Instagram, brands may want to pay you to promote their products or services to your page. To earn through sponsorships, you can reach out to brands directly or sign up for influencer marketing programs like Aspire IQ, Tribe Group, or Influence.co. Affiliate marketing. As an Instagram influencer, you can earn a commission by promoting products or services and encouraging your followers to purchase them using a unique affiliate link. Companies like Amazon, RewardStyle, and Awin offer affiliate programs. The next way is to sell products. If you've got a product or service, you can use Instagram to promote and sell it through your page. This could be anything from digital products like eBooks or courses to physical products like merchandise or artwork. The next way is to monetize your IGTV videos. You can also earn money from your IGTV videos through advertising revenue. To do this, you first need to meet the requirements for the Instagram Partner Program and then apply to monetize your IGTV videos. Remember, building a following and monetizing your account takes time and effort. You should focus on creating high quality content, engaging with your followers and being consistent with your posting. As an aside, I personally have got an ethical problem with asking small businesses for goods and services in exchange for promoting them on social media. I always pay full price and if the goods or services are fantastic, I will tell everyone about it. You never know, the small businesses might be so chuffed that they return the favor and promote you too. Big companies will generally have it built into their business model to give away goods and services for promotions, but the little guys probably can't afford it. Facebook offers much the same ways of making money as Instagram. You'll also need a lot of followers to make a splash. So overall, making a living a musician can be challenging and requires a combination of talent, hard work and business savvy. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next fast class on how music publishing works.